Hello, my name is Randy Scrapper. I'm a Principal Product Success Architect here at ServiceNow. Today I'm going to walk you through requesting the SAM Pro plugins as well as some additional plugins that you might want as you're implementing SAM Pro. First, we're going to review the SAM Pro plugin. We're going to see how you request the SAM Pro plugin as well as the SAS plugins. We're going to review a suggested order for those to install those. And we'll verify, we'll show you how to verify if those installations, those plugins were installed. So, first, let's take a look at the different SKUs of SAM uh, products that we have. The first two are what we consider base asset. These come in products like ITSM. However, the additional products, SAM Professional or the SAM Enterprise, are paid products that have more functionality needed to do complex reconciliation. Here are all the additional features and functionality that come with these two other products. And now let's take a look at some of the software asset management plugins, as well as some of the components of those plugins. The first one we want to address is the master one. This is the, on the one on the top. It is a new plugin for uh, the Washington release. It is to activate all the software asset management professional plugins, including the software asset workspace. In Washington, the software asset workspace is required to use the software application, uh, software asset management application. Underneath of that, we have the old master. This is prior to the Washington release, and this is where you would uh, be able to install all your plugins with that one step. If you decide not to do all the plugins at one time, if you have a, a reason why not to, uh, you are able to go ahead and, and individually request and install these plugins. The first one you'd want to do would be the SAM Pro plugin, followed by the Software Asset Workspace plugin. <clears throat> Client soft software distribution, the orchestration. This is going to enable you to install and uninstall software off your devices. We have some SaaS plugins that we uh, recommend. Excuse me. We also have a mobile app. So if you're using the mobile app or you want to turn the mobile app on or be able to have them download the mobile app on their phone, <clears throat> this will give them the end user capabilities to view their assigned assets on their mobile device and create an incident or a service request for that on their mobile device. In addition to the plugins, we have some publisher pack. These are additional add-on plugins and this gives us additional functionality and capabilities of reconciling some complex top tier publishers. Here we have Adobe, Citrix, and IBM as well as Microsoft Oracle, SAP, VMware. And finally, there's a service, uh, a publisher pack for engineering applications. These are for applications like AutoCAD that are gonna need a licensed server for it. Now, in addition to the uh, plugins that we had, we just went over, there are some additional plugins that you might wanna install in your instance software uh, normalization data services. This is going to normalize your core company table that is going to be used throughout the platform. Uh, some of the SaaS uh, plugins, either SaaS license management or SaaS license management integrations. This is going to help you manage those SaaS products. Uh, if you have uh, SCCM or Jamf, we do recommend using the service graph connectors for those. And we wanted to call out on the bottom, not everything is going to be in the uh, portal, the support portal to, to request. 
The SaaS plugins and the integrations will be in the serv have been moved to the ServiceNow store. Here's some a suggested order for those installs. We would like to start off with the master and then going to NDS and then going down these as well until you have the ones you needed um, in your instance. When requesting SAM Pro or any SAM uh, Pro plugins, you'll need to navigate to the support portal, then over to find the uh, activate plugin tile. Once you get there, you'll open that up. You'll first you'll be able to designate your target instance, then which plugin you'd like to activate, and then you'll be able to select a time and date for that schedule that uh, change. Once the change is completed, you'll receive an email from uh, ServiceNow letting you know that it was, and you can go in and verify. However, if you were wanted some SaaS plugins uh, for or the integrations, you will need to go to the ServiceNow store. So you would navigate uh, to the ServiceNow store. You simply just in the search bar, type in the plugin, pop it up, and go ahead and install it right from there. And as I mentioned before, once you have the plugins installed, you might want to verify that they are. Um, the best way to do this is navigate to the navigation menu, type in sys underscore plugins dot list, and this will give you a list of all the plugins that you have in your instance. You'll be able to uh, filter that to make sure that all your SAM Pro plugins that you need are installed. So let's take a look at a demo real quick. So here you see that I'm in the support portal for ServiceNow. I have navigated over to the automation store and I have found the navigate or the activate plugin. I'm going to select an instance, then I'm going to select a plugin, and I'm going to go with the master plugins. But once you type in software asset management, you will see all the plugins that we have to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and choose the the all master one. I'm going to come over here and pick a time and date, something that works for me and my company, and go ahead and submit that. As you see, we'll have a change request where you'll be able to follow along to make sure that the uh, plugin has been updated. And once that is done, you will receive an email from ServiceNow letting you get done. If you needed to do a SaaS product, you simply navigate to the ServiceNow store. Up in the top, you'd write in maybe SaaS and hit search, and you would come up with the two different products uh, for SaaS. Uh, and you would be able to click into these, read a little bit about it, and then request, request the installation. And finally, once everything is installed, you would want to verify and make sure that they are. So we would want to come over here to sys underscore plugins dot list. And this will give you a list of every plugin that is uh, active in your environment. There are two ways to uh, verify the SAM plugins. First, you can go into the name and type simply type in uh, software so that's going to come in anything with the name software is going to come up in that and we we do capture a bunch of those uh, in there so the other way would be to if I added an ID field and I just want to kind of go over that real quick 
uh, to add an ID field, you simply come over available, add it over. And I like to use the ID field just because these are the more recognized names uh, uh, that we use. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna know that I'm gonna look for all the SAM plugins. And here they are, right here, are all the 17 that we have installed currently today. It tells you when they were installed and by who, uh, and it gives you the names of them. So, uh, kind of wrapping things up here, what do we learn today? Well, we showed you uh, what components are installed in SAM Pro. We reviewed how to request the SAM Pro plugin from the service portal, as well as requesting the SAS plugins from the ServiceNow store. We reviewed the suggested order to install the plugins, as well as demoed how to check to see if those plugins were installed properly. If you need any more information about this, how requesting your sample of plugins or any other plugins, please refer to the uh, ServiceNow product doc site. Thank you very much.